everyone. How is everyone doing today? My name is Gina and I'm doing great. So, who wants to paint a leather bag with me? I'm painting it. Alright, so several, several months ago, it might have been even in 2021, I wanted to paint on leather, right? Because I'd never done it before. And I'm like, man, that looks pretty cool. Because uh, I saw um, Mariah Elizabeth do it. And I'm like, man, that, you know, that looks fun to do that. So, what did I do? I went to Amazon, as one does. Uh, when they want to uh, get into the anything crafty and I bought this kit of leather acrylic leather paint it's from Angelus okay so the kit came with all of these beautiful colors right so we've got all kinds of colors they don't tell you the colors but you know you can see them pretty much here so all of these all of these beautiful colors okay so it came with this and i believe it may have come with this or i might have had to buy this separately so i'm hoping that this is going to work because <laughs> yesterday when i was getting everything ready for this video coming up with what i wanted to do I read the directions as one normally does not do and it does say prepare smooth leather surfaces using uh, Angelus leather preparer and deglazer okay well I don't have that but I'm just now rereading it. it says smooth this is not smooth it does have texture so I think we'll be okay either way we go we're gonna try it out now again I've never done this before uh, and I just was like you know what I'm gonna play I want to have fun I'm just going to play today so I'm picking out these are the colors that I'm going to use and again I did kind of sketch out what was in my head and where the colors are gonna go I went ahead and did that so I wouldn't feel so lost again because I have never done anything like this ever so we're gonna do it together so my thinking is I want to keep it simple, right? Because never done this. So I'm going to just use solid colors and not on this whole thing. For one, I don't have a lot of paint and I don't want to use up a lot of paint when I don't have a lot of paint. So I'm only going to be coloring in certain spots like up here, here, and the, the, uh, what is this thing called the pocket <laughs> I'll get it in a minute and the thing about this purse is it folds over there's a magnet right here so in a magnet right there so it can fold over for like a little clutch um, but so and I'm not doing the back I'm only worrying about the front because you know that's all you're gonna see really so with that said, uh, so it's going to be very simplistic. I am going to be using a stencil, a circle stencil, because I thought I will just do solid colors and maybe circles. That's my thinking anyway. So I think it's going to be okay. So with that said, let's just get started, shall we? I think I will need a um, palette to put the paint in. So let me grab that okay and I do have some just I bought these brushes off of Amazon just um, you know just to have to muck around with because uh, I don't know how this paint is gonna react I'm sure it's gonna be the same what well, I don't need a palette what am I talking about I'll just dip out of the jar I think that will be fine so I'm using just this pink turquoise oh there's the I am such a I bet y'all were like Gina yeah there is names on there and so white and lilac so these are the colors that I'm using I think that they will go great one together and that they will go good on the purse because I'm not going to put anything down because I don't know if you're supposed to put gesso on I don't think so because uh, gesso is not flexible this should be flexible because it's leather. It's supposed to be specifically used on leather, right? 
So I started with lilac up at the top. It did take two coats to get it fully covered, which was not that bad. I loved this color. The consistency was like pudding type <laughs> consistency. And then some consist consistency was more fluid, like the turquoise, way more fluid. Uh, I did uh, try my best to stay within, especially up at the top within the stitches. On this part, I tried to just stay on the band itself and not go on to the purse. So, but these colors are beautiful. The turquoise took two coats as well, even though one was pretty good, well coverage there. But uh, I went ahead and put two on it. Uh, now I'm going to go to the pockets and I go purple, turquoise, pink, white, and then back to lilac rather than purple. Again, trying my best to stay within the stitches there. And the pink and the white took several coats to get a good solid color on it. Uh, again, the lilac and the turquoise took just two coats. Uh, and then I will decide to uh, do a mistake uh, and put circles up at the top because that was my original thought is I just wanted to put circles and then maybe do some other thing down at the bottom. So I got the circle, got the stencil out and uh, was doing it, kind of bled through and I'm like, that's okay. And so I go ahead and I do all the circles and I hated it, hated it especially after I get done with what I'm going to do on the pocket. I end up creating artwork on the pocket and just these circles. crazy. And I thought, well, let's put just more stuff up there. Maybe that's what the problem is. Maybe it's too sparse. Dudes, no, 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 no. I hate it. But I end up fixing it, and you'll see that in just a little bit. So I decide I'm going to put some flowers on the pockets, right? Because I think that would look so cute. So I do black-eyed Susans or Cosmos or whatever you want to call these flowers. I'm just creating some flowers in different perspectives, right? I use purple, the pink, um, for them. Like this flower, I don't know what it is. It's just a, you know, flower. <laughs> uh, the, the pink, again, I did have to do two coats, but the purple I left alone. I thought that it looked well enough uh, with that. And of course, I'll use a uh, green to put in the center of these flowers. Don't know what these flowers are, but you know, they needed something. That green looked too much, so I will end up putting yellow over the top of that. Uh, now I'm just going to make the stems and the leaves using the green that came with the, you know, just the plain green. And then I will change the color of the green just a slight bit to make the leaves. Just to give it a little bit extra something something. And uh, I will feather out the Cosmos or the Black Eyed Susans, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so you will know that what stem goes with those flowers, if that makes any sense. Here is where I'm putting that yellow on to kind of dye down that uh, green. I do put a little bit of black on the top just to kind of separate the top from the petals. And then here I am putting a tall white something. I don't know what it is either. But I felt like it needed a little something else. And again, I'm just putting some greenery on it, uh, stems. And I will end up eventually putting even more uh, greenery around. I just felt like the background was a little bit, you know, it had too much purple or that lilac in it. So I wanted to add a little bit more greenery and I just used a different color of the green. I think I added white to it with a little bit of yellow. Now this is where I fixed the top because I really hated the top once I got this flowers done. So I just painted over it. Took two coats to cover it, but it got covered. Uh, which I was very happy about. And now I'm just mixing up some greens. Uh, the green with the yellow and then the turquoise with purple. And then I'll um, even add white to kind of have different variations of these colors. And I'm going to uh, put some leaves up at the top of the bag. I figure why not? So I just start with making the stem and 
using that script liner. Oh my gosh, I love the script liner. And just going off. And I will just use all these different colors that I created to add bigger leaves at first. And then I will use... Um, use the colors again but make smaller leaves to give it more of a fullness look that there's you know like this is a a bush or flowering vine whatever you want to use for your imagination on this right I was just going with the flow I was just having fun creating leaves that was all I was doing and it was fun this has been one of the funnest things that I've done in a really really long time I had no expectations and I think that helped a lot and I just got to play and it was so much fun oh my gosh I highly recommend you doing this I will be doing this again maybe not on a purse maybe a pair of shoes I don't know but I'm doing this again uh, now I'm like you know what I think I'm gonna put little dots on why not like there's a blooming something going on so I use the purple and the white uh, and then when it's all good and dry, I will go ahead and put that acrylic finisher over the top of it. And um, just be mindful, little bubbles were here and they did not totally go away. But other than that, dudes, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Okay, so here it is, all finished, all done. It's got that protected sealant on it. The only thing I didn't don't like is that the sealant did the little bubbles. Some of them did not go away, but it's okay. Um, first time using it, so next time I'll be mindful of that. But I think it turned out so stinking cute. I absolutely adore it. And if you want to make it into the little clutch thing, right? It's got then uh, something even on the back. So I love it. I am really happy with it. I am so glad that I played with uh, this leather paint and just played. So I hope you enjoyed the video too. If you did, please, please do me a favor, like it, share it, and subscribe if you've not subscribed. Those things will just help my channel to grow and it will support me and I will appreciate it so, 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 so much. All right, y'all. Well, y'all be good to one another and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.